Hello and welcome to this new special video. As you can read by the title, I'm going to review Clip Studio Paint for the PC today. The lovely people from Clip Studio Paint asked me to tell you guys what I think and if I would recommend it or not. Uh, if this is your first time on this channel, hi, welcome. I'm Lou and I'm a professional artist and I make art videos and sometimes I talk in these videos. And that's what we have here today, a talkie video. Uh, before we begin this journey, I do want to say I heard of Clip Studio Paint before, but never actually tried it out. So this video is from the perspective of a first time user. I'm going over some of their main functions and I will part this video in sections to make it a bit easier. If you are interested in certain tools, here are the timestamps on screen. Now let's go to the review. Cue cute cart milk thing. I am a 2D artist by trade, so let's first see what Clip Studio Paint has to offer for us 2D artists. Right now you see me trying out this program for the very first time with my display tablet. Uh, my pen reacts really nicely with this program and it made the lines very easy to work with. I was pleasantly surprised. This program overall works very great with my tablet. It listens to all my shortcuts and uh, not every program does that. I use the pe pencil brush the most for my artwork. It just goes really nicely with my art style, but Clip Studio Paint has so much to offer. I'm sure there are brushes that will fit your own style. Uh, let's go over some of the brushes Clip Studio Paint has, um, and I will point them on screen. You have the pens, the pencils, brushes, water brushes, air brushes. You have like chalk-like brushes, and my favorite, decorations. They have things like hearts, glitter, grass, everything. It's amazing. Uh, you can easily make your own brushes and I even saw somewhere you can port your Photoshop brushes. I mean, uh-huh. Uh, all brushes are easy to edit to fit your needs and it makes it possible for you to try out different techniques. I really want to experience the program, so I didn't really go out of my way to make something super different. I didn't really use any new techniques or anything different than usual. I mostly just draw pretty boys, so this is just another one in the lineup. I did go for a more fancy shading, simply because I was so happy with the brushes. They didn't motivate me to work a bit longer on this artwork. You can set any brush you have on transparent as well, which always makes for such a nice shading trick. I use it a lot. I put my airbrush on transparent so I can make some nice, lovely gradients while shading. Uh, talking about shading, you can give layers different modes. Uh, with shading, I often set my layers on multiply and this mode and many more is available in this program. Basically, this program just has all the basic tools you want in a 2D art program. I, I'm not really missing anything at the moment. And it made working on this art piece really fun and easy. And I had, yeah, it was just fun. I, I liked this. I liked it. I hope you like this art piece of this boy too. I don't know what he's drinking, but he has sunglasses. So that's nice. I wanted to show the program to you in full screen, but if that's not your thing and you don't have an editing program to make your footage faster, Clip Studio Paint has you covered. The thing you see on screen right now is their time-lapse function on the right and the sketch I recorded with my recording program on the left. The time-lapse function automatically saves your progress on your canvas in an MP4 file and speeds it up for you. I love this function. It's fun to look back and it's so much easier than first to render your footage and speed it up and all that. Uh, this function can be found underneath file. This program is great for comic artists as well. It already starts with creating your canvas. You have special options for a comic page or an extra long canvas for webtoon. I'm not a comic artist. So I, I, I can't really s talk about experience, but I do want to try out comics 
So I, I'm just going to try out some stuff. That's what you see in the footage right here. Uh, you can make frames and the layers will automatically make a folder for you. Links to this frame. Neat. This makes everything very organized, which I absolutely love. I love to organize stuff in my art. Not in my life, but my art. Yes. Clip Studio Paint also offers a speech bubble option. I was over the moon about this one. You can easily create one and add text and place it anywhere. And you can make it a, a speech bubble or a think bubble. I don't know if you call it a think bubble. I think they should call it a think bubble if that's not the official name yet. Uh, I do want to get better at making comics. And this makes it easier. And I actually really like it. And I hope to properly try it out soon. I, people have been asking me about a webtoon for so long. Maybe we're going to try it out. Who knows? Maybe we're going to try it out with this program. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But I do really like this function. It makes making comics pretty easy. At least what I can see. Again, I'm not a comic artist, but I, I, I enjoy this function a lot. <laughs> So, I didn't know this was an option, 2D animation, had no idea, so I was pleasantly surprised when I found this out. You can open up a timeline in the bottom of your screen and you can create frames and they will automatically be linked to a layer. You can edit these frames and make some fun 2D animation. Uh, I really want to do more with animation. I had some classes in art school, but uh, as you can see, they didn't do a whole lot because the only thing I'm capable of doing now is this stupid ball animation. Uh, it was nice to kind of get to know the animation tool, so excuse me for not doing something great and big. Again, I'm a 2D artist. My boys stand still, they don't move. But I do really want to get back into it. Actually, just more into it. So I'm very happy about this tool because this allows me to really, you know, get back into it. Have a little bit more fun with it. So I'm very happy. It's amazing that they added this. Again, pleasantly surprised. So if you also want to get a little bit more into animation, but don't want to purchase a whole program for animation. Too much of a commitment. At least that that's it. that's what it is for me. Then I really suggest this program because you have an art program, you have so much more, and you have an animation tool. And you have one other thing. That's what we're going into now. This one surprised me the most out of all the functions, I'm pretty sure. You can add any 3D model the community store has to offer and use it as a reference. I'm talking full scenes, classrooms, towns, but also specific objects like instruments or furniture or... Th there's even a 3D doll you can just pose around. There's a 3D hand if you need a specific hand pose. It's it's absolutely amazing. I love it so much. So many times I have something specific in mind and I need a reference. I'm just looking at references everywhere on the internet. But it's not but it doesn't have the right angle. It doesn't have the right pose. All that. And here you can just create your own and that saves you so much time. It's really nice. I really like it. That's, it's great. You can just create your own references. And the community store has a lot to offer. There are lots of things. I especially like the scenery ones. And yeah, th this is great. I love this one. I already talked about it just now. But there's a community store where you can download brushes and 3D models and much more. You should really check it out. Some of these cost gold, the currency Clip Studio uses. However, 
there are also a lot of free things. So you don't really need it, but one dollar is hundred gold. So it's not that expensive. I really like this program. I, I really do. I try looking for things I dislike to make this review sound more believable, but I couldn't, I couldn't really find one. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Uh, I would like to change the colors of some of the decoration brushes if I have to think of something, but it's not that essential. I don't mind it that much. Uh, so I really loved trying this program out. And if you want to try it out as well, you can. Uh, it's not only for PC, it's also for Android, for Mac, for iPhone, for an iPad, and a Chromebook. Uh, you can get it on their website. I will link it in the description for you so you can easily find it. First three months are free. After that, you do have to pay per month, but you have different monthly usage plans. So if you only want Clip Studio Paint for your smartphone, for example, it's 99 cents. But if you want it on four devices, it's $8.99 per month. So it, it does differ, but it, they're still really good prices if you ask me. Uh, if you own a PC and you want a lifetime license, then that's possible too. They are $50. Uh, and if you already use Clip Studio Paint, what do you like about the program? There are probably much more functions I forgot to mention. So I would love to hear your thoughts behind it. And maybe I can discover some new things. And if you don't own this program, what function make you the most excited? I'm super hyped about a 3D for sure. I'm making official novel and this will be perfect to make backgrounds with. I'm super excited. So check out their website again, link in the description, blah, 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 blah. I want to thank Clip Studio Paint for introducing me to their program. It was really great. I really liked it. And of course, I want to thank my patrons for supporting this channel. You guys are, are amazing. It really helps out more than you think. And you guys are just really awesome. A link to my Patreon and all my other social media is in the description as well. Uh, my equipment as well, all that jazz. And I wanna thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a really nice day. Thank you. Bye.